So I'm on my way to Mississauga. I'm actually doing a shoot for a friend of mine. Is she a friend? Yeah. Liv, I think we're friends. She runs a social media agency called Just Live Socials. I'm doing a shoot for one of her clients and I'm just gonna be recording the process, probably gonna be asking her a few questions. And uh, yeah, that's the shoot for today. is because I actually got hit up by United Boxing Club just down the street, I'm on Bloor right now. And they DM'd me and they said they wanted to, they love my content and wanted like a free one-on-one -on -one session. So I'm doing that at six, but I have three back-to-back -back meetings starting at three. So from three to four, four to five, and then five to 5.30, and then I'm gonna head on over there and uh, get my boxing on. <laughs> All right, had some great meetings. It's 5.22 right now. I was supposed to be on another call, but he canceled, which is perfect because now it's time to head on over to get my boxing on. Here's the craziest thing about Toronto, guys. It takes 20 minutes, 20 minutes to go two kilometers. Why did they put a church beside a strip club? Like, who does that? <laughs> So I've always wanted to get into boxing more professionally and or like learning how to actually do it, right techniques. And it was kind of the perfect opportunity for him to hit me up and just have this one-on-one -on -one training session. Here he was just teaching me the one-twos, just a straight jab, left hook, not left hook, sorry, just a left jab, right jab. And he actually taught me a lot about making sure I keep weight on my right foot because what he noticed was I kept leaning a little bit too forward and I was never able to basically shift back after I threw that right punch. Anyways, it was cool because then we got the pads out and we got into the boxing ring, which was actually a really cool experience. Not like I haven't been in a boxing ring, but it's, it's, it's a different feeling when you're like outside of the boxing ring training and when you're inside. The guy I was training with, his name is Irv. He's also Filipino, which was funny enough. But at this point, he was continuing to critique my footwork, which I really appreciated because I'm the type of person that understands that I really don't know anything. And I tend to not let my ego get in the way of learning how to be better. And that's the one thing I really like about boxing. You can take so much from it and really apply it to your everyday life. First off, shout out to Irv from United Boxing Club. Yo, that place was so dope. The atmosphere in there was amazing. The people in there were cool. You know what? I'm sold. I definitely want to go back. It sucks that I live so far from there, but I'm in Toronto often enough that I can probably squeeze in a session once every other week. I don't know. Realize that... I have a lot of work to do. Oh my gosh, my technique definitely needs some improvement. I'm also not a fighter. I never claimed to be a fighter. I'm heading to the gym right now. It's gonna be a big back day. The vlog just doesn't stop, but the vlog will end after I uh, try Andrea's cookies. I definitely feel like after that 30 minute boxing session and then the gym, I, I should reward myself with Andrea's cookies and I'll give you guys a rating. I'll let you guys know how it is. TikTok has hyped it up and I'm like, you know what? It's time. Oh, if it isn't Tim. It was disgusting. What's going on? What's going on, Alright guys, I finally made a decision. These bad boys are gonna be my gym shoes. While the blazers are going to be the boxing shoes. <laughs> Thank you.
What's really funny is, Alfie said he did a muscle up, and I swear to God, I did a muscle up yesterday. And just out of ego, I'm gonna try to do it again. And I got a tip yesterday that I, whenever I do a muscle up, I usually have my arms out, and I show how I'm close together. So I pull up, and I push down. And, and Quick little progress check. All right, for the moment we've all been waiting for, Andrea's cookies. All right, we got here two chocolate, two macadamia, and two mini eggs. Moment of truth. No, that's pretty good. Nagina's gonna. I, I think that's what it is. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna try the macadamia. Yeah. Can we just try it? I try it. <laughs> Cooper, up. We're ready? And you tell me what it's like. Ah, gentle, gentle, gentle. Ah. Did you like it? I guess you liked it. 